Sports Time now, we say good evening to Mark Seal in the Sports Studio. What's the big story, Mark? Well, we're going to have some cricket later on, but we're going to start with some cross-country running where the St. Michael School and Harrison College are the girls and boys champions of the Power Aid BSAC cross-country competition. Today at the Botanical Garden, St. Michael won with 300 points to Springer Memorial's 317 and Chrysler's Foundation's 405. Meanwhile, Harrison College conquered the boys with 326 points ahead of Queen's College's 366 and the Allen School's 438. Taken in today's action with CBC's Anne Marie Burke. Let's start with the under 15 girls. 118 young ladies lined up to conquer the two kilometer course. And I will call it a pretty even break as they settle in the botanical gardens. No real leader from the outset, but that was soon changed. As soon after he started to pull away, Parkinson's Jaquela Waterman and Queens College's Shiara Beckles. Tracking them, foundations, Denisha Ford, still with a lot of ground to cover, but they were looking really strong. The other athletes trying to keep pace, still looking like they were in the fight. Fast forward and they're heading for home coming through like a freight train waterman of parkinson look at the little powerhouse in full stride right behind her the St. michael school's decoria Cullimore. she made up some good ground to take second and in for third ford of foundation by the way the winning time was eight minutes 02.12 seconds to the under 15 boys, theirs was a 3K, picking it up with just about 100 kilometers conquered and already taking charge was Harrison College's Matthew Clark with a pack of four in tow. The boys were looking pretty comfortable and easy at this stage. Clark starting to put some daylight between himself and the rest of the field and he looked so comfortable doing it. It almost seemed as the more the finish line drew closer, the faster Clark was going. The Botanical Gardens was a picturesque backdrop. But back to the action and here he comes, leading from start to finish. Oh yes, he's your champion, Clark of 8C, College Lions Roar, 9 minutes 10.16 seconds and more celebration for the Crompton Street Posse as Finn Armstrong comes in for second, 9 minutes 26.43 and third, LZ's Christopher Lestrade, 9 minutes 35.25, the Mustangs get in the top three. To the little ladies of secondary school, the first farmers, 122 starters for the two-kilometer run. And it was an easy-peasy pace. But then the blue uniforms emerged as leaders. That's the blue of Alexandra, Ashen Simmons, and Katie Rock. Those names should ring a bell. The knapsack champions are still conquering as they've moved to secondary school. Simmons and Rock stamping their authority. Simmons is just a class act. And Rock is right there with her. They came from the north to the west to conquer. Simmons, first home, a champion in her own right, stopping the clock at 7 minutes, 48.53 seconds. And here comes Rock, having to sprint home, 8 minutes, 13.96, with the fight for third won by Ali's Anaya Nurse from Springer's Renisha Stewart. First form, boys, and the pace was hot like fire. Our three early leaders, St. George Secondary, Shavari, Greenwich Lewis, Elsie's Richard Burke, and St. Michael's Asher Lashley, making all the early running. But there was still a lot more race to conquer, and as you will see, any of these boys could still get in the top three. So, how did it shape up? Well, Greenwich Lewis with determination at the heart of a true St. George Lion came through for the win. 7 minutes 18.40 seconds. Right behind him last year St. Michael's School. And here's another St. George Lion, Mwamba Brown. 7 minutes 33.10. And the senior girls are off. Their race was a 2.5 kilometer with some big names in the mix. It was to see who was best on the day. The girls started easy and comfortable in the opening phase. But as the ladies covered the first quarter of the race, a lead pack took shape, with the pace still very comfortable. I'm seeing Layla Haynes, H.O. Foster, Ashley Reese, Deja Bathway, and Christian Shernan. Let's say the expected front runners as Haynes and Bathway stride for stride up front. And as we waited in anticipation to see who indeed would be crowned senior queen of cross country, the spectators ushered the excitement our way. A sprint for home between Hayes and Brathwaite. Hayes with her usual grit and determination had the edge. Brathwaite just didn't have the last boost of speed left in her, so Hayes takes it. 9 minutes 31.94 seconds, Brathwaite 9 minutes 34.86. And talk about true sportsmanship. That battle will definitely go into inter-school sports next year. Almost taking a fall, but recovering. 
recovering well to take third with St. Michael's Ashley Week. As it was a hot day, but a fun day at the secondary school's cross-country finals. Anne-Marie Burke, CBC Sports. Thanks, Anne-Marie, and there was one more race, the Senior Boys, and that was won by Damon Dawson, Dawson of Harrison College. Lester Vaughan, Savian Hoyt was second, and Alexandra's Rick Williams was in third. On out of cricket, where Barbados Pride have increased their lead in Zone A in the Colonial Med Med Medical Insurance Super 50 Cup, which was being played today, they recorded back-to-back -back victories over second-place Leeward Hurricanes after winning today's match at Connery in St. Kitts. Following on from yesterday's win, or from Wednesday's win against the same opponents, the Pride opted to field first today and bowl up the Hurricanes for a 184 or 46.2 overs. Kieran Powell top scored with 88, inclusive of 9 fours and a 6, while Rashawn Primus took 4 for 47 and Ashley Nurse 2 for 29. The Pride easily reached the target, scoring 185 for a 1 of 30.2. Captain Jonathan Carter top scored with 69 not out with 9 fours and 2 sixes, while Nico Boucher made 68 not out with 8 fours and a 6, as those two put on a 117 run partnership. The Pride winning by 9 wickets. Now in the other games being played in Trinidad, the hosts, the Red Force, were 88 for 3 from 16 overs against the United States, while the Windward Volcanoes were 232 for 5 off their 42 overs against the Guyana Jaguars, Devon Smith made 93. That game is currently live on MTTV's Channel 308. We understand that Guyana are one without loss. And the Windies women have lost their T20 International Series with India women after the visitors took an unassailable three-love lead last night at Providence in Guyana. Choosing to bat first in the third encounter of the five-match series, the Windies women were restricted to 59 for a nine off their 20 overs. Shadeen Nation and Chanel Henry top scored with 11 each, while Radha Yadav took two for a six. The India women replied with 60 for three of 16.4 to win by seven wickets. Player of the match, Jemima Rodriguez, was unbeaten on 40. That included four fours, while Matthews took two for a seven. Shane, that's the first half in sports. We'll have more cricket and some football for you coming up a bit later.